Independence of events is not the same thing as mutually exclusive. Independence is when this is true. The conditional probability is the same as the original probability. Look at this table of high school seniors declaring a major at college next year. There's much to be gained from this problem. Independence is a major concept, and what we're examining has many implications as we proceed the rest of the year. Notice there are 60 students from high school A. 18 of them have declared a business major. Thus, the conditional probability, if we shrink the sample space, is 18 sixtieths, or 0.3. Look at all 100 students from the two schools combined. Also, 0.3, or 30 percent, are declaring a business major. So the conditional probability equals the overall probability, hence the events declaring a business major and being a senior at high school A are independent. But if you knew a student was selected from school B, would that change the probability of he or she declaring business? No, it would not. This conditional probability, if we shrink the sample space to the 40 students from high school B, is also 0.3. Both conditional probabilities equal the original probability. This is the first test of independence. Here's another important attribute of independence. Let's change the counts to proportions. When variables or events are independent, we can multiply probabilities to find the probability of the intersection. In this case, when n equals 1, the probability of selecting a student who is from high school A and is declaring a business major can be found by multiplying the probability that the student comes from high school A by the probability that they've declared business as their major. 0 0.6 times 0.3 is 0.18. This indeed is the probability of the intersection. And with independent variables, this works for every cell, including the intersection of school B and those who chose another major. But remember, when n equals 1, the conjunction AND always implies intersection. Only when you know that the events are independent can you trust that multiplying probability A times the probability B will yield the intersection. And this leads to the second test for determining independence of events and probability. If the probability of A intersect B is the same as the product of the two individual probabilities, then the two events are independent. Let's convert the information from this table to a Venn diagram. Our two sets are high school A and business. Note that 0.28 is the probability of being outside of both, the probability of being in high school B and declaring a major other than business. Suppose we had not seen the data before. Using the second test of independence, we can confirm that multiplying the probability of A times the probability of B does yield the probability of the intersection. Thus, independence is confirmed. And the first test of independence also reveals independence Shrinking the sample space confirms that the conditional probability of declaring a business major, given the student is from high school A, is equal to the overall probability of declaring a business major. Incidentally, it also works to compare the probability of getting a student from high school A, given that the student declared a business major, to the original probability of being in high school A. Both are 0.6. You only need to confirm one conditional probability or the other to establish independence. Does this Venn diagram of high schools C and D display independence? The answer is no. Both tests confirm that the two events are dependent. 0.7 times 0.2 is not what's in the intersection, and the probability of being in high school C, given the student declared a business major, is 0.5 and not 0.7. These are dependent events.